And I encourage anyone who's a basketball fan, you don't even have to be strictly Villanova fans, but this is a, a great look at a, a inside look at a program that has obviously been quite successful. So I encourage you to get that. We'll tell you at the end of the show again how you can put your order in. Um, when you when you see yourself watching it as a you know a, as a, an audience member and you see how you are on the um, floor with the players during practice and then you see how you are during games and then um, hear some of the interviews that you have given is it almost surreal to yeah, you really it really is it, you know, who is uh, that guy <laughs> it, it really is and and it's still emotional to me I, I'm, I'm a big I'm, I'm such an emotional person as it is but uh, you know, I still, when I watch that, there's parts that I get tear. I still tear up watching it now. You know, and, and we've, when recruits come in, um, you know, there's a there, there's sections of it from our TV show we can show. You know, so I still get tears watching it. You know, it's it, because you're watching the players' reactions. You know, I, when when I'm talking to the players, sometimes I'm looking at one of them, but on these pieces, you you're seeing all of them as a team and as a family. It's pretty cool. And for you, when you are making it to uh, the Sweet 16 or to the Elite Eight or as you did last year to the Final Four, you're surrounded by some of the best coaches in the game, and now you're included among them. Who who impresses you? Who do you look to? as a role model or as someone that you just particularly admire in this game? There's a, there's a lot of great coaches in college basketball. And, and it's funny, this Final Four, um, they have a, uh, CBS has a dinner. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's, not, it's, it's a big event. It's actually a show the, the night before, or two nights before. And they have all the teams in suit and ties, and they do it in a big theater. And then they have the four coaches come up on stage. And it was Jim Calhoun, Roy Williams, Tom Izzo, they'd all been there three, four, and, and me. And I'm sitting there like, you know, we're like this, it's the four of us. They've done this so many times, I'm the rookie. But it was um, thrilling for me to just be on the stage and look at Jim Nance was doing, you know, how many has he done? He's done 30 of them. So to everybody, this was an old hat. And uh, it, it's, um, it's humbling, it really is. It's really humbling. But is there Those someone in the guys, game that really, to this day, know, really impresses you? Well, I worked for Roly Massimino. Of course. That was my. That was your mentor. He was, and he was my idol. I mean, just. And the last one to bring Villanova the Final Four, and, or and no, the, the championship. National championship. So what, he, 85, he, I think. He's right? special, in, you know, in my okay. eyes in terms of college basketball coach. But the guys now, um, of course, Coach K, I, I just, uh, I have so much respect for him. And in. And I coached USA basketball, and I, I've always admired that uh, his commitment to Duke, but he's got a commitment to USA basketball right. too. Where any of us that coach the other teams, like I coached the Pan Am, World University Games, he always went out of his way to help us, congratulate us. He's just. He's, he's so great for college basketball. I am so glad that you said that because the way that I became a Duke fan many, many, many years ago was because I had the opportunity to interview him. And he has a lot of the same qualities that you have. And he has the same commitment to his players off the field and to their personal development, not yeah. just the kind of basketball player they're going to be. And, and we get the sense from you that that's your commitment as well. You're committed outside of, of Villanova, though, too. You do a lot of charity work. I know there are a couple of events um, throughout the next season yeah. that you'll be involved with. We want to promote those for you a little bit. Thank you. No, you do the coaches. Coaches for, versus, versus cancer, cancer. which uh, is something that all the Philadelphia coaches in the Big Five and Bruiser Flint uh, from Drexel, and, and really, it's almost an honor for my wife and I, Patty, to be a part of this. It's um, Reed Dunphy and Fran Dunphy um, and Phil Martelli and Judy Martelli. Those two are so, those two couples are so incredible with this event. The rest of us, we kind of, we're like soldiers. We do what they tell us to do. <laughs> and just doing what they tell us to do, we're working all the time. The, uh, Reed and Fran and, and Phil and, and Judy are incredible. We raised the most money of any uh, coaches and coaches versus cancer in the country right here in Philadelphia of course and, and they do an incredible job they are very giving in the Philadelphia area all right coach right great to have you here we're gonna tell people again how they can get that uh, Villanova DVD of the 2008-2009 season um, attitude of a champion very quickly as we are saying good night your attitude as a champion how would you define it 
I think the, the word attitude defines it. I think it's the greatest characteristic you can have is, is, is a great attitude because things uh, happen to you in life that you can't control, but what you can control is how you react to it and how you react to people and how you treat people. And uh, we want our players to learn that. And then if we want them to learn that, we have to live it. Now you are living it and you're li living um, the dream for Villanova fans as well. Jay, great to see you again. Best Thanks. of luck to you in the upcoming season. I might actually have to root for Nova. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we don't play Over Duke. Duke. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>